Mr. Hitler If you think we're on the run We are the boys who will stop your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler What's that? What's that noise? It's the all clear, sir. Is it? Yeah. Sort of time is it then? It's about six o'clock, sir. Oh. Uh, Eighteen hundred hours. No, 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 sir. No, that that's uh, that's the night. Night. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't it night? No, sir. It's the morning now. Is it? Yeah. Why haven't you taken the blackouts down? Oh, sorry, sir. So sorry. Oh. Did you, uh, you manage to drop off, sir? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, really? <laughs> I thought you did. Your eyes were closed. I uh, was just resting them, Wilson, that's all, just resting them. Wasn't asleep, far from it. I see. Well, with your responsibility, sir, I, I wouldn't blame you for taking 40 winks. I did not take 40 winks, Wilson. Anyway, I'm sure you were 100% alert all the time. Yes, I was. Even though you were snoring. <laughs> Perhaps you'd better go and put the kettle on, Sergeant. Right, sir, right. Are we ready for a hot drink, poor devils, after being out all night? You know, sir, I really do think it's rather absurd the way they stand us to when anybody ever sees a parachute. I mean, we say it's a... Uh... Who's to say it isn't one of our planes? It's hardly likely, is it? I mean, we literally shoot down hundreds of theirs, but you very rarely read about any of, the, of ours being shot down, do no, you? No, well, you may not read about them, sir, but, I mean, common sense must tell you that it happens sometimes. I don't want any of that sort of talk here, Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those Nazi planes going back were very obviously stricken. One of them was, was even touching the rooftops. The one who was loosing off his machine gun. Yes, I think it must have uh, hit the gas works, sir. You haven't lit it. Well, oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, here they come. Better put our hats on. Right. Mustn't let them see us improperly dressed. No, yes, of course not. Come on, boys. I, I know we've been on patrol all night, but when I say order arms, I want your order arms and snap to it like one man. Now, try again now, please. Now, order. Hunt. Done that. Hey. Ah, that, that's better. That's better, sir. Now, we, we don't want the men to get slack, do we, sir? I mean, that's the worst thing you can do to a bunch of men is let them get slack, sir. Yes, thank you, Corporal. Yes, sir. I'll just hand in your ammunition. I'm afraid we ain't got none, sir. Ain't got none? <laughs> Why not? Well, sir, I'm afraid we engage enemy aircraft with rapid fire. You did what? <laughs> it was flying so low you could almost touch it. Jones here was fixing his bayonet. You sure it was one of theirs? Oh, yes, I oh. saw it. It was as plain as the nose on your face. It was definitely a Heinkel, Uncle. Yeah, he loosed up his machine gun at Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> the Jewish firm, you know. <laughs> I never knew that. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> so, sir, we let him have it right up. And I have to report, sir, he did not like it, sir. <laughs> they don't, you know, they don't like it. And he weaved from side to side and he disappeared with smoke coming from his engine, Nascal. Oh, really? Really? You, you think you shot him down? Well, it was either us or those two Spitfires on his tail. It's <laughs> <laughs> a very serious matter, Jones. You know perfectly well that we've only got five rounds each. 
If the enemy decides to strike tonight, this platoon will have to stay indoors, won't it? No, no, sir. We've still got our bayonets. Uh, and I've still got my round, sir. Uh, time I'd undone the buttons of my overcoat and my battle blouse, they were in the in inside pocket of my cardigan. By that time, uh, the plane was out of sight, sir. <laughs> one really doesn't know whether to be pleased or sorry about that, does one, sir? Uh, they're awfully small, those buttonholes on the overcoats. I wonder if they'd be done about them. Hey! Yeah, listen, I know, geezer. Fix that for you in a jiffy. Charge your bob each. Oh, that, that's very, very reasonable for new buttonholes. No, he don't do that. He files down the buttons. <laughs> All right. That'll do, Walker. You know, we have to report this to HQ, Wilson. In the meantime, look after the rifles. The kettle's boiling. Uh, that's good news. Uh, I'm dying for a cup of tea. That comes later, I'm afraid, Godfrey. We deal with the weapons first. Pull them through and boil them out. Hey, 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 hey. Just a minute. We're all gasping. We've been on guard all night. Yes, we've all been on our toes all night, Fraser. Haven't we, Sergeant? In a manner of speaking, yes. <laughs> We're a frontline fighting unit, and our first thought must be for our weapons. They get the first water. Right. Get them pulled out and boiled through. Oh, that's a bit strong, isn't it? Carry on, sir. All right, then. Just, uh, just fall out, you chaps, and just do as you're told. Well, I don't know what HQ's going to say about this. Uh, do we have to tell them, sir? Well, of course we do. Otherwise, we won't get any more ammunition, will we? It's like gold. Yes, sir. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, about the ammunition. I think I can get it for you under the counter. You know no, what no, I mean? No, no, no. It's quite out of the question. How much would it cost? What about a bob around? No, no, no. I wouldn't allow it. And where would you get it, anyway? Well, it's an Irish battalion up at Ghoul's Head. Well, surely they don't sell that ammunition. You get up at that booze at 10 o'clock on a Saturday night, they sell you the Pope. All right. Don't bother your life. Sorry, I spoke. Don't get out. <laughs> uh, if it's money that you're worried about, perhaps we might be able to sort of organise a sort of a uh, whip round. I won't hear of it. Besides, it's dishonest. My duty is to report this to headquarters, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's a bit strong, though, you know, Jones. I mean, we might have had a cup of char first. I mean, after all, it's not as if we was regular soldiers. I mean, they can fall into kip after they've been on parade all night, but we can't. We've got a day's work to do. You don't go, you do a day's work, do you? Oh, yeah, hang on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, that whiskey you get every week, don't fall off a lorry on its own accord. <laughs> <laughs> Has to be pushed. <laughs> it's very hard for people like me that have to work with their brains all day. Your brain? What are you talking about, your brains? All you've got to do is give a couple of wallops with your chopper and keep your fingers out of the way. <laughs> right, that's done. Well, what did they say, sir? Oh, it was only Sergeant Clark. He's, he's taken the details. Well, are we going to get the ammunition? Well, I'm sure they'll do their best, yes. I see. Well, perhaps we could persuade Walker to sort of uh, hard it, you see. How do you mean? Well, he could get it on the sale or return. I mean, uh, what we don't need, we could uh, send back. <laughs> this is a war, Wilson, not a Rotary Club dance. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better go and see how the men are. They seem a bit truculent to me. Well, I think I'm just a bit tired and thirsty, you know, Yes, sir. and I'd better go and boost their morale. I wouldn't do that if I were you, sir. <laughs> You know, sometimes, Wilson, I don't think you have the stomach for this job. Well, <laughs> there you have the advantage of me, sir. <laughs> right, how are we getting on, men? Everything uh, all right? Uh, Barrels all nice and bright and shiny, eh? Oh! Are you having a little trouble there, Corporal? No, 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 sir, no. It's, it's just got a bit stuck, that's all, sir. Let me have a try. All right, sir. See, my right arm's not as strong as it was of yesteryear. No. I'm not getting the joints to chop, you see, sir. It's gone a bit weedy, you see, sir. Yeah, uh, just notice this, will you? <laughs> You'll get a lot better purchase on it if you'll wrap the pull through around your hand like this. And give it a good sharp tug. And... <gasps> <laughs> what have you got on the other end of this? I think there's every probability it's knotted. <laughs> Yes. Well, we just have to try some other method, won't we? Yes, sir. Ah. Now, I remember a little wrinkle that I picked up in the last conflict. Sir. Now, watch this. If you tie it to an immovable object, like this... Like Roy Roy just ties his horse. A trigger. <laughs> like that, you see? Now, all we want is a sharp jerk. <laughs> All right, Virgil, I'm very sorry. Oh. We'll, we'll get it repaired for you. The vicar's going to play Muriel about this when I tell him. Don't worry. I'll talk to the vicar personally. He still hasn't got over you doing bayonet practice during even song. Blood... <laughs> blood-curdling it was, right in the middle of his responses. <laughs> right, now, let's, uh, let's start to something a bit more substantial, shall we? 
Ah, now this post will do. That's it. If you pull that down, you'll pull the whole hall down. <laughs> Hardly likely to come down, is it? I hope not. <laughs> now watch the officer now, watch the officer. Do you think this is wise, sir? Oh, please, oh. Sergeant. <laughs> right. <clears throat> so here we go. Oh. <laughs> yes, well, well, that, uh, that's used to pose rather a problem, doesn't it? Yes, I'm well aware of that, Sergeant. Well, perhaps there's an armourer at Area Command. He's not taking this anywhere near Area Command. He'd look a right fool, wouldn't he? Sir, you can make the barrel red up. That'll, that'll burn the string out. This is a precision instrument, Pike. <laughs> well, here's a little red ants in one of my window boxes. If we put some honey in the rifle and then the ants, they might eat it away. Uh, <laughs> in general time. Yeah. I'm afraid we haven't got that much time, Godfrey. What about two, two teaspoons full of arpic? That seems to shift most things. Well, give, me <laughs> give me a stare, Rod, will you? Here, here, that's Harry's property, you know. You are, sir. Vandals. Right. Grab it down about. Now, give it a tap or two, yes. Fraser. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes, that's much better, Fraser. <laughs> well, there you are, Corporal. <laughs> We've made a start. Where's my Frank? Here, yeah, Mum. Oh, where on earth have you been? I've been worried sick about you. I've been shooting at aeroplanes. We think we shot one down. Here, have you washed your face? No, I've only just got back from shooting at aeroplanes. Well, it's a disgrace. You're going to come straight home with me and I'll give it a good go with the flannel. Come on. I can't. I've got to boil my rifle out. I'll soon see about that. Mr Mannering, my Frank's coming straight home with me. It's a perfect disgrace, you, keeping him out all night like this with a dirty face. Now, look here, Mrs Pike. You really must stop barging in here and inter interfering with my running of the platoon. Then you should run it better. Look at his hands. Frank, show Mr Mannering your hands. No, Mum. Show Mr Mannering your hands, Frank. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Look at that. Do you go about with your hands like that, Mr Mannering? That's nothing at all to do with it. <laughs> and what on earth are you trying to do with that? I don't think you need concern yourself over that. It's jammed. Oh, come here with it. Well, no wonder it's jammed. You've got a bit of string stuck in it. <laughs> come along, Frank. Very good. Well done, David. Another one, Mr Jones. Uh, and so have I. Uh, that makes seven. Good. Well, hang on to them. We want as many empty cartridge cases as possible so as we can replace them. Come on, Joe. Give us hands. Well, I got my five. I mean, I'll pick them up as I find them. Well, why didn't you hand them in? Well, I couldn't very well, could I? What a light. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, Wilson. Very good. And well worthwhile. Yes, sir. Well, I've had a word with the lads, and between us, uh, we'd be more than happy to buy the stuff from Walker. I've already told you I will not be a party to any such thing. In any case, it's too late. I'll put those empty cases in the cupboard as evidence. Evidence? Yes, at the Court of Inquiry. The what? Area has ordered us to hold a Court of Inquiry into the disappearance of the ammunition. Oh, dear. Oh, oh. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. What on earth's the matter with you? <laughs> nothing, sir. There's nothing at all, except for a few paltry shillings. We might be... Might have been able to hush all this up. Look, my motto is, and always has been, honesty is the best policy. Yes. I say, Pringle, it doesn't seem like the General to convene a court of inquiry about a little thing like this, does it? He didn't want it. It's this pompous little captain fellow, Mannering. We just asked, quite politely, why they needed more ammo. He suddenly went all regimental, saying he couldn't cover anything up. Damn nuisance. I've got two tickets to that Leslie Henson show tonight. I'm uh, taking a rem. Commission? Not really. She's a sort of midshipwoman. <laughs> Maybe to think that one up. We'll cut it short then, eh? Oh, you bet. I'm having a five shilling austerity dinner at the Ritz. I'm taking a fanny. <laughs> <laughs> Commission? I don't know. They all look alike to me. <laughs> well, what shall we do with this, Uncle Arthur? What? Oh, Frank, I, I, I really don't know. Just, just put it anywhere. Anywhere. It looked nice across the door, wouldn't it? Yes, only, it would. only you couldn't get in. Well, here. Yeah. Perhaps Captain Mannering could drape it around himself like Britannia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's 
That's very funny, Walker. <laughs> Put it over the table. Sir. <clears throat> We've got uh, two officers coming from Area Command. Now, let's show them that we can do things properly. Hey, uh, listen, sir. I'll get you an half a dozen coronation beer mugs. They've got a picture of King George VI on the front with a crown on his head. They're six bob apiece. Very regal. This is a court of inquiry, Walker. I don't think there be any time for swilling beer. That's <laughs> <laughs> Corporal Jones reporting for duty, sir. Yes, Corporal. <laughs> what in heaven's name is that? That's full dress uniform, sir. Lord Kitchener always enjoyed a man wearing full dress uniform when anyone was on a fizzer. <laughs> This red coat's been worn by the British Army for over 200 years, sir. Trouble is, the red showed up a bit, and a lot of men got shot, sir, and they didn't like that, sir. <laughs> so, one hot day in India, when the air was all furted and it was all dusty, some of the men, they put a lot of dust all over them, and they found they didn't get shot, and they liked that. And that's where the old expression comes from, khaki. That's an old Urdu expression for dust. Would do for dust, that is, sir. And then there's another expression, not so dusty. Yeah, all right, all right. Run you my sword, sir. What's that for? In the Navy, it is to go on the table in front of the senior officer. Do we really need that, Fraser? Well, we shouldn't be having this palaver at all, but if we're going to do it, let's do it right. Yes, well, <laughs> Fraser's quite right, sir. We always had a lot of swords on the table in the Sudan. We always gave the fuzzy wuzzies a fair trial before we shot them. <laughs> It has to be pointed at the man if he's guilty. <laughs> that would be a little difficult, wouldn't it, Fraser? <laughs> I've been using it to make toast, sir. <laughs> yes, well, thank you very much indeed, Fraser. Kind thought, but I think we'll uh, hold that in reserve, if we may. Now, pay attention, men. I dare say that some of you may think that I've rather let you down by bringing an air command over this. But consider this. If we're going to defend our homes and our loved ones, We've got to have ammunition. Now, I know the way the army mind works. And believe me, this is the only way that we're going to get it. Excuse me, sir. This has just come from Area HQ. I think it's the ammunition. Yes, later, Pike. Ah, uh, when... <laughs> ah. <clears throat> well, they must have been very impressed by the correct way in which we tackle this problem. Right, dish it out, Sergeant. All right, sir. Come on, Pike. Outside. Oh, excuse me, sir. Two officers from headquarters outside, sir. Uh, very oh, pleasant gentlemen, though quite young. Really? Sergeant? Yes, sir. Fall the witnesses in, outside. All right. Show them in, Godfrey, please. Yes. Now, look here, Captain Madring. The verger tells me that it was you that pulled my baluster down. <laughs> <laughs> Wanton vandalism it was. Thank you, Mr. Yeaman. I've already told the verger that we will be responsible for the repair. It does seem a pity that you can't show more consideration for our property. Yes, there does happen to be a war on, you know, Vicar. Uh, will you kindly step this way, please, gentlemen? Well, good afternoon, gentlemen. Everything's ready for you. If you ask me, most of the damage is being done by the ones who are supposed to be on our side. That'll do, Mr. Yeager. <laughs> You've always been a troublemaker, you have. Yeah, all right, Corporal, don't bring that up. <laughs> Why do you take the collection home to count it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why don't you count it in the church like all the other virgins do? <laughs> Corporal Yes, sir. That'll do. Yes, sir. Go outside and look after the men. Yes, sir. Very good, sir. <laughs> Everything's ready, gentlemen. Won't be a moment. Now, Vicar, I've got to hold a court of inquiry in here. And I have a meeting in my office if I can manage to see it through all the maps and guns. We'd better discuss this later. Vandals. <laughs> Why do you always take the collection home? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry about that. A bit of trouble with the civil power. Mannering. Pringle. How do you do? Cuts. Oh, yes, Captain Cuts. Well, we're pretty keen to bash on, Captain Mannering, so may we start? Yes, of course. We both have pretty urgent affairs to attend to. <laughs> right. Who <laughs> okay, to sit down, gentlemen? We'll, uh, we'll make it start right away. Permission to speak, sir? Yes, go for I've seen to the men outside, sir. Right, thank you. Sir. Now, stand back and by to uh, show in the witnesses. Very good, sir. Sergeant Wilson will take the evidence. All right, sir. What a nice day for it, haven't we? I'll just read the order convening the court. The court of inquiry will assemble at St. Aldham's Church Hall, Warmington on Sea, at 17.30 hours on Monday the 12th of May to inquire into the loss of 75 rounds of .300 ammunition by number one platoon, B Company, Warmington on Sea, Home Gu... <laughs> I wonder if you'd mind. We, we, we're holding a court of inquiry here. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Has the vicar's meeting been cancelled? No, no, Mr. Blewett. No, he's still in the office there. Oh, I, I thought it was funny if he cancelled it without letting me know. Do you mind if I go through? No, no, carry on. Sergeant, give him a hand, yes, will you? Yes, yes. <laughs> it's nice to see you up and about again, Mr. Blewett. Oh, I'm very much better now. We really you. have missed seeing you in the bank, you know. Well, I have been 16 months with my leg up, oh, you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> May we carry on? Yes, of course, as quick as you can, Sergeant. Yes, all right. Well, Mr. Blewett can't dash about at this time of life, you know, oh, sir. The younger than you are. Well, shall we continue? <laughs> yes. Court of inquiry will assemble. Shall we take that notice as read? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Very well. Now, can we call the first witness? Yes, yes. Permission to speak, sir. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Corporal. I'd like to volunteer to call the first witness, sir. I'd like that, sir. <laughs> call Private Walker. Very good, sir. Call Private Walker. Call Private Walker. Call Private Walker. meeting. No, it's through that door. Oh, Fanny didn't tell me. That's the Come on, Treaty. I to do that at all. I'll show you the way, Treaty. Don't worry. Come on, down. Here you go. Is this going to happen throughout the entire proceeding? No, no, no. I'd, I'll post a man on the door. Sergeant. Yeah. Wilson. Well, what are you doing? I'm so sorry, sir. I've mislaid my pencil. Oh, stupid thank you. Oh, thank you one. so much, sir. Thank you. See that nobody else comes in, Corporal. Very good, chap. See no one else comes in. <laughs> now, Walker, we're having a court of inquiry about the loss of this ammunition. Sir. Right, sir, I've seen no one else come to you. Yes, all right. <laughs> right, start giving your evidence, will you? Name? Jones. Not you. <laughs> Stand over there. Very good, sir. Uh, name? <laughs> Joe Walker, sir, wholesale supplier and scrap dealer, also private, sir. Now, what happened? Shouldn't this man be on oath? Well, he doesn't have to be, but I suppose if you want it that way, you can swear him. Well, my experience has always been, gentlemen, that if you do things the right way, there's no comeback. Hand me the Bible, Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't got a Bible, sir. <laughs> but I told you to provide one. No, you did not, sir. You didn't tell me to provide a Bible at all. No. I distinctly remember ordering it when we decided to get more milk. <laughs> I know where I can lay my hands on one, a quid. <laughs> it's got gold lettering on the back. It's the authorised version. No rubbish. No, there's no time for that. Get the one out of the church. Well, for some extraordinary reason, sir, it's chained up. Yeah, listen, why don't we nip in there, do the swearing, nip back here and do the chatting? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, sir. Yes. There's a very good book in the office, sir, written by Mr. Baden-Powell, a very upright and highly religious man, sir. <laughs> Where's a Boy Scout hat, sir? We could swear on that. What, swear on a Boy Scout's hat? No, no. <laughs> He's written a book called Scouting for Boys. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Look, we, we can take evidence without an oath. Shall we just get on with it? Well, I suppose under the circumstances, perhaps we should, yeah. Yeah, listen, if you play it my way, I can get you 75 rounds of ammunition by 8 o'clock tonight. 50 bob, all right? Stand to attention. <laughs> get on with your evidence. Yeah, well, <clears throat> anyway, we were swanning around the waterworks, you know, minding our own business, like, when suddenly this dirty great angle comes out of the sky. So I turned to Jonesy and I said, Jonesy, look, and, uh, Jonesy, that's a corporal. Uh, Walker, over there. Walker, just a minute, Walker. What's the minute. matter now, Will? Uh, I've only got as far as swanning around. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I got the gist of it. Carry on. Yeah, well, anyway, this dirty great angle comes out of the sky and I said, hey, Jonesy, look at that. What he says? I said, that angle. He says, where? I says, there. He said, I can't see it. Well, his eyes are a bit on the blink, you know what I mean? I mean, being the age he is, I mean, he's over 70, you know, and he's a bit deaf and all. Oi! So... I heard that. <laughs> Corporal. Yes, sir. Can you leave the room? Certainly, sir. Shall we just keep to the point? Yes. Now, look. I can't have left the room, sir. <laughs> get to the shooting as quickly as you can. We shot at it. <laughs> we'll need a teeny-weeny bit more detail than that, won't we? Yeah, well, I was giving him more detail, weren't I? Now, look, oh. Walker, let's just get back to where you first started to load the rifles. What is far more important is who gave the order to fire? Ah, oh, Jonesy, sir. Yeah, that's uh, Lance Corporal Jones. Put that down, Wilson. Right. Jones gave the order to fire. All right. All right, I think we're getting somewhere now, gentlemen. Oh, joyfully... <laughs> <laughs> what his name is that? Leave this to me. I'll deal with this. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Vicar, Vicar. Excuse me. What's the matter? 
We've got a court of inquiry in there. We can't have all this. I beg your pardon, Mr. Mannering. This is the church's hall. It's been requisitioned. Not this room. This room is still church property. Even so, we cannot have all this noise. Mr. Mannering, if you can do your blood-curdling bayonet practice in the middle of my responses, I can do my jubilati in the middle of your inquiry. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, Vicar. You and I are standing shoulder to shoulder... <laughs> ..facing a common enemy. <laughs> Surely we can cooperate. Oh, very well. We'll do something quiet. The nook dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace. Nothing personal, Mr. Mannering. <laughs> Page 29 in the pen. All right, I've settled that. I don't think there'll be any more interruptions. Hello, they've come back. Wilson, stand the man to. Man the sandbag, set of pops. Get the stretch parties ready. Excuse me. Excuse me. Right, take cover, Vicar. Everybody in the shelter. Right, it was only thunder, sir, but it wasn't a bomb. <laughs> really? Yes. Well, your journey wasn't really necessary, was it, sir? I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen. Hey, come on. Carry on, please. What are all these men doing? Cobb, get these men out here. We're not stopping out there. We're getting shook. Let us get look. So I couldn't be parade with umbrellas. I, I've got a spare one if anybody needs it. Oh. If I get wet again, my mum will play Mary Elle. She really will. She'll play Mary Elle. Right. Shall we adjourn for half an hour, gentlemen? Oh, great Scott, no. And I definitely think we should continue. Well, we can't have all the witnesses listening to one another. Why don't Corporal Jones and the platoon demonstrate to us precisely what took place? I say, what a wizard idea. All right, very well. Show us exactly what happened, will you, Corporal? Right, sir. But when I saw the plane, I remember what you said about engaging enemy aircraft. I always remember what you said about putting khaki handkerchief chief on your face to camouflage, right, sir? Yes, yes, that's right. Yes. Well, we didn't have any time for all that rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I remember what you said about scattering. We scattered, didn't we, boys? We oh, scattered, all right. right. Yes, we scattered. Now, I was just going to give the order. I was just going to give the order. <laughs> I was just going to... What's the matter, Corporal? I think I'm going, sir. <laughs> Voices, it's a choir in the office. <laughs> well, if that's what it's like to go, I like it, I like it. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Have I got to take all this down? Oh, for God's sake, no. no. Now, what happened next? Well, remember just what you taught us, sir. That's yeah. right. Cock, I said. Come on, boys, show them. Right. Enemy plane, I said. Just like you said, sir. Swing with the plane, boys. Swing with the plane. Aim just in front, and then I gave the order shoot. No, no, not shoot. Fire! <laughs>